Milwaukee Fire responded to a downtown hotel and bar this afternoon after what they're calling a rare gas leak. Look at this footage of the scene from News Chopper 12. It happened at the On Tap bar in the same building as Brew House Inn and Suites near 10th and Juno. Dozens of people were evacuated. 12 News reporter Emily Pofall spoke to hotel guests displaced from their rooms. On a beautiful day like this, you'd expect the patio here at On Tap Bar to be packed with people. But after an evacuation from a dangerous carbon dioxide leak Sunday afternoon, the business is closed. Yeah, I grabbed some some pants and shoes and ran out the door. <laughs> Alarms got hotel guest Leslie Carlton out of bed at about one o'clock Sunday afternoon. Just floors below her room at the brew house and in suites, carbon dioxide filling the basement. Yeah, a little startling, a little scary, but it's an old building. You expect things like that to happen. I'm just really happy with the quick response. Milwaukee Fire responding with air tanks and gas masks. North 10th Street closed for hours and full of engines as crews ventilated the basement. MFD says they respond to carbon monoxide calls daily. Carbon dioxide calls are rare. You won't find carbon dioxide leaks in residential homes. The big hazard here to life was the fact that the carbon dioxide moved in and pushed the oxygen out. The carbon dioxide was supposed to go into coolers in the basement, but filled the room instead. MFD estimates the basement of On Tap could have had nearly 25 times what they consider a safe level of carbon dioxide. We just walked into fire trucks everywhere. Hotel guests safe and sound, but after the bar's closing, in need of a drink. Looking for another beer here, not great. In Milwaukee, Emily Pofall, WISN 12 News.